And joining us on the program today to discuss the directive given by the Labour Union leadership is the Vice President of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Mr. Amechi Asuguni. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, what do you think the position of the NLC will be in this meeting with the delegate from the federal government? I expect that the federal government would want to, you to stay action on the strike uh, to take place today. But how far do you think the NLC will be prepared to go to stop the strike from going ahead? I think uh, currently the position of MSC has been made known public and uh, uh, it's not just MSC, the organized labor, they are resolute in this decision. And uh, the action is not to actually go in for strike for going sake. It, it's an overdue struggle. And uh, the labor has actually a different patient for a long time. And we believe uh, with the position of this separated meeting, indefinite adjournment of that meeting without uh, a conclusion requires a nationwide strike in order to truly show to government that it's not about the representative of the workers, it's about the workers themselves. So the ongoing meeting uh, can only avert the strike if it's producing the required minimum wage for the people. But currently, I am very optimistic that uh, the plan action is still valid and uh, there's no counter directive to that effect. Will you describe the federal government's action as failure? over the refusal, if that's what it is, because they've had, a, as it were, a positive posture since the president had indicated his willingness to review this minimum wage, that the federal government had earlier promised that before 2019 it will be implemented. Uh, do you think that they are backtracking their... What do you think is the problem? I think uh, the, the, the inability to actually dictate the problem as uh, anybody may clarify, is the reason we're going on strike because mm. it is actually against Mr. President's position on the day of inauguration. He made it very clear on that very day, uh, supposedly that we should actually do everything humanly possible to conclude this negotiation in uh, a short distance mm -hmm. and uh, come out with a reasonable wage. Mm -hmm. uh, but if the same president is the one that is being consulted to get this kind of poor feedback, then one is worried, and uh, but it's not over until it's over, and that is why labor has to do what he has to do in order to truly know whether the communication between Mr. President and the committee is the challenge or Mr. President himself. I think this action should be able to provide us with that answer. Uh, For us, we are going ahead, and I believe all industrial unions have been directed to do the needful by withdrawing our services at uh, midnight today. You're quite right that uh, the government's, the president's posture at the beginning was positive to review the minimum wage. And to that end, a high-powered committee was constituted involving the head of service uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, do you think that uh, this delay is an honest uh, response to the situation that they find where some states are saying that you cannot give us a blanket minimum wage to pay our workers because... We can't even pay the workers the normal wage because we don't earn as much as, say, Lagos or some other states that have a, a high revenue ge generation. Do you think that they are running into roadblocks and it's, and, uh, it's, it's a sincere um, problem on their part? But certainly not us because both the state and federal government are on one page to say that 18,000 is overdue for review. We have never gotten any contrary views to that effect. We are going to come back to that conversation uh, with the Vice President of the NLC, Mr. Amechi Asugini, on the proposed strike, which is to begin midnight today. Now, this just in, the meeting between the federal government's delegates and labor leaders have ended in a deadlock. Uh, NLC President Ayuba Waba says the position of labor on the strike still stands, despite the minister's assurance that the issue will be looked into. The meeting was between the tripartite committee on the new minimum wage and the minister of labor and employment, Chris Ngege. And we have holding on to speak with us, standing by, is the vice president of the Nigeria Labor Congress, Mr. Amechi Asuguni. 
Now, now that meeting has ended in a deadlock. That means that the strike will go ahead as planned from midnight today, yes? Certainly. How many of the affiliates of the NLC are part of this, uh, of this movement? The entire 44 affiliates of NLC are resolved in this decision. And as a matter of fact, uh, there is no descending voice. Uh, you should know the issue of wage is about the issue of workers' welfare. And uh, there is nothing a worker desires most than his welfare. For me, the entire workers have resolved. I thought uh, the meeting of today would have actually given some uh, uh, leverage to at least make some adjustment to knowing where government are in the position of minimum wage. But up to this hour, it seems uh, they are not categorical with the position. And eventually the decision of labor to proceed on strike is still much, much on top. Now, it, it appears that the government has is indicating that they do not want this strike to happen. You are insisting on the minimum wage being implemented for an upward review. How long will this strike go on for? Because you, you said that it was, uh, if I I'm, I'm understand, that it's, uh, it's a warning strike. How long will this warning go on for? Because we call it warning strike, because we believe, probably the, the deadlock so far is not as a result of uh, uh, government uh, totally saying they will not do anything whatsoever. So since the position is about indefinite adjournment, it becomes a warning strike to call them back to table in order to provide what Nigeria workers want. And uh, until that is done, without response from the federal government with regard to commencing this discussion with uh, seriousness and honesty, they may not be desired from our part to reverse the action. So that is why they call it warning. They strike to compare discussion to conclusion. Uh, eventually, the remain under demand, then uh, certainly is not the definite strike. And it's not the first time. I believe it will prosper. Thank you, Mr. Asugini, the Vice President of the Nigeria Labor Congress. Amitya Asugini on the warning strike of, the, uh, of Nigerian labor to begin today by midnight.